How do we go to the toilet in such a tiny van? Don't watch this while you're eating. No, seriously, don't watch this while you're eating. I do watch it later. In this cupboard, Stinky Pete is sleeping. If we're really quiet, I think we can hear him. Hi. Are you building or buying a van? Have you ever emptied a chemical toilet? Why? Wow, it's no big deal. Keep watching and I'll tell you why I refuse to allow Stinky Pete <coughs> to live in our cupboard. <coughs> what I hate about chemical toilets. They smell, they use chemicals, they fill quickly. The smear factor on the bowl is gross. Who the heck wants to cart sewage around? They force you onto campsites. You have to join the, the queue of shame. Good morning. This is the best job of the day. I love this job. It's no worries. When you do empty it, you have the utter joy of splashback. Ugh, it's all over my head. <laughs> Even worse, some people are tempted to be an utter knob and empty them where they shouldn't, giving real wild campers a bad name. No, Stinky Pete needs to go. There. Now <sighs> look how much room I have for more important stuff. So I ask you, do you really need a loo in the van? Of course you do, but we chose this instead. This is the Bivy Loo. And by the way, we're not sponsored for anything we mention in this video. We bought it all ourselves. It lives in the bottom of this cupboard because we only need it on rare occasions. We make sure that it's always ready to rock and roll though. Make sure you keep it inside so you don't have to go outside in the mud to get it. Push down on the base, lock the supports, line it with a bag, poop in the bag, tie it, double tie it, dispose of it ASAP, open the windows and vent. If you listen to your body, you will hardly ever have to do this. When you're out and about, make use of public toilets whenever you see them. You don't have to use grotty ones. Go into a nice hotel for a coffee and use theirs. Let me let you into a little secret. A five litre water container from Tesco makes a really good cheap pee bottle. We tip ours away in public toilets most days. The bottle fits great in a rucksack. Ladies, you will need to learn to pee like a man. Carol has tried this and this, but prefers this. Details in the link below. As an added bonus, you will now be able to pee on a walk without having to pull your pants down. That's amazing! The best tip though is practice in the bath a few times before trying in a confined space. On a serious note, if you need to pee frequently at night, get a bigger van than ours, as there's not much room to be able to do that safely in such a tiny van. Please share this advice with anyone you know, it might help. And whilst you're at it, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. Any questions, stick them in the comments. Oh, by the way, Stinky Pete absolutely hates this video. 